See, when you mourn, in the biblical sense, spiritual mourning, it has to come from this place of recognition that you are but dust. See, pride will try and bring you to a place where you consider yourself to be greater than that which you are. The other day, I, I, very briefly, I experienced something the other day. As I was on location with regards to this uh, baptism, discipleship and breaking of bread, I looked out to the sea. It may just be me who's done this before, but I looked out to the sea and what I saw from there, my whole vision was consumed with the sky and the sea. And as I looked, I was thinking on creation and the most high. And out of me thinking of creation and the most high, there came a, a reverence, a fear of the most high. Because I got the notion as to how small I actually am. Now, when you're in a city, you don't get the opportunity to do that. When you're surrounded by buildings, all you can see around you really is the ground that you walk on, which is a creation of man. The buildings which are uh, surrounding you, which blocks out the sky. And you just get on with your, with your daily business. But... There was a moment there where I looked out and I, I felt small. And then I saw, because it was, it was getting late, I saw um, the clouds, like a mist and rain, on that side coming towards me. And I, I just felt, my goodness, how, how insignificant and small I am in compared in comparison to the majesty and might of the Father that I serve. That's what I felt like. There was, a, there was a fear, a reverence of the Most High and, and what He is able to do. The opposite of that, brothers and sisters, is to think that you are King of the world. You're king of the castle. You think of yourself above that which you actually are. And when you do that, you fall into the trap of pride. Pride will come before destruction. Because you won't recognize that you are just a man. The Bible says, if we go to the psalmist, that we are gods, but we will die like men. And we can put ourselves in this position of being mighty, puff our chests out and walk around not recognising that our lives are in his hand. It's just a vapour in his hand. At any point in time, it can be taken from us. Which is why in the morning, we should give thanks. It's not guaranteed. And when you think along those lines, being humble in spirit, being poor in spirit, then you can look at who you are and or more accurately who you were. When you are poor in spirit, you begin to realize, woe is me. Woe is me because of what I have done. Not just what I've done, what I've encouraged other people to do. How I have promoted other people, not just myself, to live in unrighteousness, debauchery and sin. Each and every one of us, at some point, is going to give an account. 
The moment you recognize there is a day of reckoning approaching. When you recognize there's a day approaching and you're poor in spirit, you will mourn. That's when the Messiah steps in. The Messiah steps in and essentially you have a balance on your account which is going to lead unto your death. You have no spiritual currency to cover this debt that you owe. But here is your redeemer. redeemer. Here is your saviour. And it is for that cause I sent him into the world.